cha Korean bị đau không có tới để ban phép thêm sức cho các em ngày hôm nay được và tôi xin đọc cái thông cáo của Đức Giám mục Peter Zurich ủy quyền cho cha tránh xứ Phêrô Trường Vĩnh Trị ban phép bí tích thêm sức cho các em hôm nay cha Trương Vĩnh Trị thân mến chiếu theo giáo luật điều 884 tôi ủy quyền cho cha để ban bí tích thêm sức vào Chúa Nhật ngày mùng 8 tháng 6 năm 2014 cho các em trong danh sách kèm theo đây cha hãy tin tưởng rằng tôi luôn luôn cầu nguyện cho cha và cầu chúc cha được nhiều hồng ân của Thiên Chúa thân ái trong Chúa Kitô tôi giám mục Peter Zurich giám mục giáo phận Sa Lọt xin cảm ơn quý ông bà Good afternoon and welcome. For today we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit descending upon the Apostles 2,000 years ago. And on this joy of receiving the Holy Spirit, today we have 34 of our young men and women here receiving the Holy Spirit in the Sacrament of Confirmation. So with that joy, we welcome each other with a big applause. And in this Mass, we pray in a very special way for all of you confirmation candidates today, for your own intentions, and these intentions as well, for Joseph and uh, for all the fathers, um, Especially we are praying uh, for all the fathers on their Father's Day coming up next week. So let us begin. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now confess our sins and ask God for mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask us, Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. of today's great feast. Sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them in the tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And then they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues. And the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement, they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each, each of us hear them in his native language? We are, all, we are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Philolia, Egypt and districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Ju Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God, the word of the Lord. Thanks. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manyfold are your works, O oh Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. The Lord send out the spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing him be my, be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. The Lord send out the spirit. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given from, for some benefit. As a body is one, though, it has many parts. And all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all store. Come within your bosom shine, you of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below, in our labor rest most sweet. Grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours, and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not. Nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint or ill, heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness, pour your dew, wash the stains of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray on the faithful who adore and confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift descend, give them virtue, sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. 
Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. the hearts of your faithful and kindle them in the fire of your love. According to John. Glory to you, o Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and those sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Candidates of confirmation, please stand. Father, the parents of St. Joseph presents to you these young men and women who have prepared for and are now ready to receive the sacrament of confirmation. Let us confirm these candidates and applaud them in a big applause. Please be seated. On this very special day for all of you, you are about to receive the sacrament of confirmation, which the sisters and the catechists have taught you a lot about the Holy Spirit, right? And have you met them, the Holy Spirit? For you will today. You will meet the Holy Spirit for the first time. Okay? What he looks like, I'm not going to tell you. But you will meet him today for the first time in your life. The Holy Spirit. Right? Okay. So what are you expecting in your heart right now to see him? Going to come down like the fire you see up there? Or like the dove? flying around this church? What do you think? Use your imagination. Not too much though, but... Okay. So, picture that. That Holy Spirit will descend upon you, right into your soul, and stay with you. Stay with you. Now the sisters have taught us how many gifts of the Holy Spirit you will receive. Anyone remember? Raise your hand, you can say that. How many? Seven. Seven, very good. If I ask you to name them, can you name them? You may name a few, right? Okay, we'll get to that later. But here's the thing. You know 
that today you will receive the Holy Spirit for the first time into your soul. You know that. I know that. Your parents know that. People here know that today. Okay? But my question for you is how do you prove that to the people who are not here today that you already received the Holy Spirit? Think about it. Think about that question. Because you know that you receive the Holy Spirit. I know. Your parents know. Family knows. Okay, people here know. But a lot of other people who are not here today, how do you show the Holy Spirit in you to them to prove that you already have the Holy Spirit in you? Okay, take a minute and think about it. Think about the answer for yourself. How am I going to show the Holy Spirit in me to the people around me? How do I do that? Among 34 of you, anyone would like to share your answer? How would you like to show that to other people, that you have the Holy Spirit? Anyone? Go ahead, don't be afraid. That's a good sign to show that you have the Holy Spirit in you. So how do you show it? Your certificate? What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, I asked that same question to the first Holy Communion class this morning. And guess what? They got it. You know what they said? They said, by the way you act. Isn't that beautiful? So my older friends now in confirmation class, I know you know the answer. You just feel a little bit shy to share that, right? Okay. So let me remind you the ways that you can show that you have the Holy Spirit in you by showing the gifts of the Holy Spirit, by putting the gifts of the Holy Spirit you receive today into practice, into your daily life, how you live your life, how you act every day, how you behave. That's how you show that you have the Holy Spirit in you. So can anyone name one gift of the Holy Spirit for me? Anyone? Go ahead. Fortitude. You know what that is? It's courage, right? Strength. To do what? Lip weight. What do you need that courage, that strength for? Say it louder. To stay away from? Tim? Thank you. Okay. Right. So you have the strength to say no to? To temptation. Okay. So the Holy Spirit today gives you that strength to say no to bad things. They always happen around you. So that gift of the Holy Spirit helps you to say no. I am better than that. I am not going to fall into temptation. You see? So by the way that you say no to sin, you say no to temptation, you show other people you have the Holy Spirit in you. What other gifts do we have? Name another one. Wisdom. Very good. So the Holy Spirit gives you the gift of His wisdom to do what? Make more money? What do we need to give the gift of wisdom for? To choose rightly. You have a lot of choices out there, and many of them are bad. Okay? So the Holy Spirit gives you the gift of wisdom 
to make a right choice, to choose the right thing. Okay. So if you, for somehow, get associated with a very bad friend, okay, you have the wisdom to recognize that he's doing a very bad thing. I am not gonna participate. That's a wisdom to think and choose rightly, right? And so by way of your choice, you show other people you have the Holy Spirit in you. What other gifts do we have? Fear the Lord. It's another word, piety. You know, that holy fear is to bring you closer to the Lord. You show respect, you show reverence to the Lord and His holy house. And now you know why I keep asking and reminding you when you come to church, you need to behave and you show your reverence, your respect to the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. And by way of doing that, you show you have the Holy Spirit in you, okay? You have that. What else? What other gifts do we have? Chastity. At your age, yes, you need that gift, I tell you, okay? Why? Because nowadays, a lot of bad materials out there. With the TV and internet, very, very bad out there, okay? You need that gift to say no to it and to keep what the Lord has given you. It's so beautiful. It's the gift of you, your person, okay? Now you are mature enough to understand that. You need that gift of chastity, okay? To live and say no to temptation. Because remember, that gift keeps you from temptation, saves you when you grow older. In other words, when you mature, you enter into the sacrament of marriage, or you become a nun or a priest. Okay? You live your call, your vocation. What else? Understanding is another beautiful gift. So what do we need to understand? Here's one thing I share with you. The gift to understand each other, my friend, so that you don't misunderstand, okay? Because misunderstanding is a very bad thing and can lead to very, very bad consequence. So we need to understand ourselves, your friends, so we can accept them. You know, we can love them better. Beautiful. By way of doing that, once again, you show that you have the Holy Spirit in you. Okay. What else? How many gifts have we done so far? Five or six? Go ahead. Counsel. It's another word. When you receive that gift, okay, that leads you into what we call prudence. Okay? You lead your life, you lead your life in a very, very good, holy way, in the right way, the way of the Lord. Okay? And so today, as you receive those gifts, I want you, each one of you, to show them to show them to people around you, to prove that you have the Holy Spirit within you. But I would not let you go on until I say one more gift, the last one. Begin with the word, the letter P. What is it? Let me put it this way for you. Here's the one you can practice 
right now and every day of your life. And it will give you big success wherever you may be and whenever it is. Patience, my friend. Patience. Okay. When you show that patience to other people, okay, you show that you have the Holy Spirit. And it's such a gift that is needed everywhere. Not just here in church, everywhere. In society, at your work, it may get you a big promotion later. Patient, okay? So when you show that to your siblings at home, your classmates, when you play, or when you study together, when you do all that, you show that you have this Holy Spirit within you. And so now we will begin the rite of confirmation. So I pray that the Holy Spirit will be with each one of you, remain in you. Confirmation candidates, please stand. My dear candidates for confirmation, by your baptism, you have been born again in Christ and you have become members of Christ and his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostle at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. And so now, my dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on these candidates for confirmation, to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we will confirm you by one by one. And be still with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. John Paul II, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
Andrew, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. John the Baptist, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. John the Baptist, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. John the Baptist, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Martha, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Justina, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Dominic, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Isidore, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Dominic, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe. For the people of Christ Church, that the Spirit may inspire us with new gifts of wisdom and understanding and fortitude to know what must be done and to do it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of Christ Church, that they may recognize the Spirit's work and protect it and foster it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are separated from Christ by sin, by refusal, to know and to accept themselves, the world, and God's love, that the Spirit may be liberate them from narrowness and fear, and may lead them to openness and freedom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who fear self-discipline, that the Spirit may lead them gently into that control of themselves, which makes them capable of accomplishing what they truly want, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the candidates, we offer our gifts to you every week, but with the greatest of the gifts we offer to you today is these young people who will stand in front of us and in front of you this day. We give them back to you with gratitude and hope and with full of hearts and with empty hands. We trust to you to continue the good work you have begun in them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, receive the prayers we offer to you, always to Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice, and graciously lead us into all truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lo, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, <clears throat> you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in pro profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people are solved in uh, your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the enemy hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints shall please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on thy friends to his heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And yes, Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you.
Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit dwell upon her, may retain all its force, and that its spiritual fruit may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Well, first of all, it's a very, very happy day um, for St. Joseph and for Trung Thiên Mẫu that we have 34 who were confirmed today, who received the Holy Spirit for the first time. So may I ask you, confirmation class, please, please stand. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a big applause for our confirmation. Please be seated. And now I'm, I'm counting on half of you to become priests and half of you to become nuns. Okay. So that's the deal we made before Mass, remember? Okay. All right, so we are continue to pray for um, these young men and women, and especially that the Holy Spirit will lead them in the right way. And uh, we never forget to thank all those who have prepared this class for years. And I'm talking of the sisters here in a special way. Sisters, may I ask you please stand so our parish may have the opportunity to uh, see you. Sisters, all of you. With the good work you have done and are still doing, you need a bigger convent because half of them will join you. Okay. Um, and I want to thank and especially um, Bang Yam Hiu, all the catechists, teachers, volunteers, parents who have helped, you know, uh, the school over the year. So good work, wonderful, wonderful work. This class is the biggest class in our parish history. So a big applause for our school staff. Okay. And you know our mass is so beautiful, reverend, in a very orderly manner. Thanks and many thanks to all of our photographers and videographers. I'm talking to Mr. Sung, Mr. Bao here, Mr. Lam in the back, and Mrs. Bat Ving right here, Mr. Wan there too, to take pictures and record videos for us for free. So my friends, big thank you. And if I uh, happen to forget anything or to forget to thank anyone, please know that it's not with intention. Um, it's been a long day, that's all, okay? But right, we don't forget to thank our choir, right? Beautiful choir right here, that's right. that today we have the Knights of Columbus present here with us. Let us thank them with a big thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Sometimes I will switch back and forth English and Vietnamese. Sometimes it comes out Spanish, okay? So, uh, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace. Oh, oh, oh.